Hello YouTube. Four-Eyed Piper. How's everybody today? It is a very drizzly, rainy, gloomy, muddy day here in Western New York. I am smoking a little bit of Ashton's Artisan Blend, which I've been very much looking forward to trying. And I got this from my good buddy, Beatnik Piper. Thank you. And I'm smoking it in a pipe I haven't smoked in quite some time. This is uh, the first pipe that I ever made. It's kind of a weird little uh, Prince Pot shaped deal. It's made out of pear wood. It's my Prince Pot pear. And uh, has a straight stem, but a little bit of a curved shank. So it kind of gives you that little kind of Nike swoosh look. But I love the way it sets. And it smokes great, actually. For a cheap little pear pipe it's unfinished I didn't stain it you can see some grain in there I've thought about maybe doing a carnauba wax on here but you know what I like the way it feels it's still a little bit rough and uh, I think I'm just gonna let it kind of color up from use and from you know holding it and uh, it is what it is nice wider yeah nice uh, Nice wide rim on it, nice thick bowl. So, yeah. This uh, Artisan's Blend is supposed to have quite a nick hit to it. <clears throat> but, uh, we'll see. I don't typically get affected too much by heavy nicotine blends. Uh, drinking a little bit of Death Wish coffee today. So high caffeine, high nicotine apparently. Wanted to give you guys an update. It wasn't on yesterday. Had a Kind of a rough day, uh, feeling better today about uh, everything, the state of things, and feeling uh, a little less pain today, so that's good. I uh, had a consult yesterday with a neurosurgeon, and uh, as I had pretty much suspected, we are going to go the route of some surgery. Uh, got that scheduled for a week from today. Today's Wednesday, so next Wednesday, the 13th, will be my surgery in the morning. Uh, in Rochester, New York, so shouldn't be too invasive from what I'm understanding. Uh, probably too much information, but um, small two inch incision maximum. Uh, gonna go in and repair my disc, and then uh, it looks like I'm gonna be recovering for maybe one to two months afterwards. So that's that's the part that's a little bit. Uh, hard to swallow I'm uh, in my entire career I've never been off of work this long right now and certainly not for that kind of time so that's gonna be very different for me um, and I'm gonna have to find ways to uh, keep my brain active and keep my body active as much as possible and uh, uh, and all that so uh, I'll be leaning on you guys to keep me going a little bit uh youtube is my hobby right now and in the pipe hobby i don't know how much i'll be really smoking at that point but we'll see and yeah, it'll all be an experience so um as we go we'll we'll learn more and uh, i'll keep you guys up to date with what's going on with me I have to say, I really like these little pipe nails. 
This thing I've been using since uh, I started here on the back porch studio. Uh, and I love it. I just like this, uh, the simplicity of a little pipe nail. I don't have any nice tampers right now. Uh, all the uh, antler tampers that I have made, I have sent out to my friends. Um, I have a ton of material for tampers. I just haven't gotten around to making any more. And I really should keep one for myself, but uh, for something that can just live on the back porch, this little pipe nail is perfect. This artisan blend is basically nightcap for me. It tastes so similar to nightcap. I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Let me know. <clears throat> I've had a lot of folks reaching out to me recently, giving me words of encouragement. Um giving me a lot of positivity on the channel and some of the things that I've been doing. So thank you guys. I know it's the content isn't necessarily unique or, or uh, special. Uh, I'm just keeping you guys informed and, uh, and up to date on what's going on with me and, and some of the thoughts that I have. And I, I just appreciate all the support that I've been getting, guys. Uh, we're rounding the corner here on 500 subs very shortly. Uh, Christy and I have been putting our heads together for a giveaway, um, but we want to make sure it's right. You know, we want to be able to have the prizes and all that stuff um, that we believe, you know, a three, four, and five hundred giveaway deserves. So I'm going to take my time with it a little bit, um, but I just want to say there's a there's a lot of new folks I've been interacting with um, that have sent emails or comments. Um, and I just want to thank you all. It's been, uh, it's been a real pleasure over the last couple of weeks to get to know uh, a few new people. One I want to shout, shout out for uh, a new channel that is out there that I really enjoy the content. I think uh, this gentleman and I would get along very, very well together. Uh, it's Doc Bravo. Uh, he's a, a vet. Uh, he lives out in Utah, does some fishing, started his pipe channel uh, very much like me, has some kids and uh, is living life uh, around his responsibilities to his family and all that stuff. And uh, him and I have been going back and forth on email, and I've really enjoyed our interaction so far. So uh, go check out Doc Bravo's channel. Give him a sub. Give him some love. Um, I very rarely do shout outs like this, but uh, I think he's going to be very cool, uh, a cool addition to our our crew. Another shout that I want to make. Um, I just watched a video earlier today, one that uh, I hadn't seen uh, anyone else do. A video like this yet and it was the briar dude um, as filmed by old pops talking about um, how he goes about making a pipe out of a hobby block and there's many of us who are interested in making pipes obviously this is one of those type scenarios I was lucky that it actually came together the way it did <laughs> because I didn't know what I was doing I used a Dremel for the entirety of the build on this um, and I actually carved it out of a uh, partially drilled block that I got on Amazon you can get on Amazon and get 20 pair blocks uh, for very very cheap um, and uh, if you're interested in the information just shoot me an email for I piper at gmail.com I'll give it to you but anyway the briar dude went through his whole process on how to basically find the parameters of his pipe, given the bowl, the you know, the depth of the bowl, the uh, draft hole, all that stuff, and how to make sure you have solid parameters 
to begin your carve and you know, to begin your actual um, illustrative process on how you want your pipe to turn out. This is a very simple pipe, you know. The ones that he makes are absolutely gorgeous um, works of art, really. Um, he's much more artistically inclined than I am. Uh, so definitely go and check out Briar Dude's channel and Old Pops. And uh, check out that video if you're interested in carving pipes out of hobby blocks. Very cool. And the last uh, little shout out that I have is for someone who has made me and my wife absolutely insane over the last day or two. And that is Dale Piper. Uh, he's doing a giveaway right now. Uh, and it's a really interesting concept. Uh, he's got a little bit of a mystery uh, that he wants us to solve. And uh, I think my wife and I may have a pretty close shot on it. I don't know. Um, I hate to call my shot, but I, I think we made a good guess. Um, if not, uh, you know, being right, I think we're pretty close. Um, but Dale Piper's giveaway is really cool. Uh, you got to get in there and take a look at uh, the video. It's a little long, but it's worth watching the whole video. Um, there's a lot of clues that he gives that uh, you may overlook at first glance, in my opinion. But uh, get over there, take a look at Dale Piper. Um, he's rounded uh, almost 500 uh, subscribers, I think, at this point. Uh, deserves even more than he has uh, and he's definitely got a really generous giveaway going on and one that is worth a look and if you have not made a submission for it you can you can certainly comment and get in on this thing but you gotta at least take a stab at this mystery guys I can't be the only one I know there's gonna be a couple more but let's get a few more folks uh, looking at this mysterious box that he has so that was a long video. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to sit out here in this drizzle and enjoy my pipe. Uh, until next time, we will see you later.